Hello, and greetings, squires, pages, and minstrels alike. Today I want a short and sweet video about item conveyance in your worlds, just from side to side, as most of mine have been more complex means of getting your items to and from places. These are connectors that you will need between those contraptions I've showed you in many of my other videos, and please check out that playlist. And a quick thank you to anybody who has watched liked, subscribed, or followed. I had a shulker show farm video last week that received almost 200 views, and I am just super excited about that type of thing. Even if it's just one person re-watching and re-watching and re-watching for the sake of learning something, I'm grateful to have helped. So let's jump right into this and be quick about it. Our first and cheapest option, water streams. Really easy, you can manually toss your items in there and away they go. I've not ever seen something get caught on a button, so don't worry about that. And it makes it to our hopper. We use an ice block so the item can slip across here. We use a button to keep the water all flowing in one direction. Because if we break the button, this source goes back this way and muddies up the whole process. We'll collect our items out of here. <clears throat> We can put hoppers here. You can put hoppers under the water stream and attach a sorting system. Um, and that's something I've done in another video of mine. You can change this direction at whatever point, but whenever you change direction, you'll need a new source of water. So put a button here, put a new source of water here, and break that so it goes that way. Easy as can be. <clears throat> you will need this canopy over top of these droppers if you're going to use this setup because otherwise the dropper can spit items up onto these rails and you will lose them as they despawn. This circuit with the dropper, you might have seen it before in my item elevator video if you've watched that. An observer looks in this chest feeding our, our hopper into our dropper and yes it must be a dropper not a dispenser. But our observer sees that, sends a signal to this block the block powers this repeater, as you can see it flashing. That powers this block, which powers the dropper to activate and spit out one item per activation. The cycle continues until the observer observes no changes inside the chest. So after there's no, once it gets to one item, and it will observe that there are no items, and then nothing is changing, it won't continue firing. So you won't have an incessant clicking noise going on, even when it's not accomplishing anything. And that's it. The advantages of water streams are that they are far cheaper than our other options we're going to talk about here in a minute. You don't need to use glass. I did so, so it's easy to see what's going on here. You could use dirt if you want. Your most expensive bits are going to be these blue ice blocks. Those are six packed ice each, or I'm sorry, nine packed ice each, which are nine regular ice each. And you have to have silk touch to mine ice to begin with. Or you can buy them from wandering traders occasionally which are also expensive because they cost a lot of emeralds i think five for a block maybe more um good luck go find a mountain freeze some water make it happen you can do it uh once again that's your most expensive part of this operation so we're going to move on to rails and a quick disclaimer yes i know there are a lot of ways to make uh minecart loaders and unloaders that are automated and send the cart on their own we will get to that in another video because that is an enormous subject of on its own but don't worry this is just a quick demonstration that you put your items in here they load up the cart and that goes super fast for some reason i'm not 100 percent sure why i think it's the nature of hoppers to send an item down as well as hoppers to pull items down that might be getting enough signal that it's trying to do both at the same time and getting three and four items per tick instead of one at a time. Our cart comes over here. It hangs over this hopper just enough. And there you have it. It's unloading. So we use this button to power this powered rail underneath the hopper. That costs you some gold and redstone to make powered rails. Regular rails cost six iron a piece, so this is vastly more expensive than our water streams. 
You can change direction and customize this however you need. They can go uphill. They can go downhill. You could build one from the bottom of your world in your deepest, darkest crystal mine all the way up to build limit so that you can, I don't know, give them to the sun or something, whatever it is that you want to do. <clears throat> you need enough power for your minecart to make it up a hill or to make it long distances, roughly 16 rails between power sources or acceleration sources is a general rule, but you may find you need to make adjustments here and there. If you do a lot of uphill, you'll need much more power. If you do a lot of downhill, you'll need a lot less. And our final set of item conveyance is my favorite, the hoppers. These take no thought and no effort after you've built them. They can obviously change direction at any point. Any hopper can turn. You could build it in a circle if you want and then be able to just pull your items out wherever you're standing at. Hoppers move items one direction only. They can also go down, but they can go any sideways. They just can't go up. So refer to my item elevator video if you want to send your items upward. Straight line is the shortest distance between two points as math teaches us so that is the fastest way to get your items from one side to the other however this doesn't work the other way hoppers are one way as i was saying so we put them here they stay here we put them up there they come down here same as this one this is all one way so you would have to build another hopper uh a hopper line to come all the way back up here if you would like <clears throat> Uh, this is your most expensive option, as I was saying. Five iron and eight wood for a chest makes a hopper, which is just so much more iron even than your rails, because when you build rails, it takes six iron and a stick, or maybe two sticks, to make 16 rails. So as you, you, know, you start adding that up and your hoppers become uh, vastly more expensive so you will almost need an iron farm and a whole lot of time to chop down trees uh the other concern with hoppers is that the game calculates hoppers the same way it does entities i believe that's how that works but it's it's very draining on a server so if you have just tons and tons and tons of hoppers all working all the time, you are going to lag that server for other players and possibly even for yourself. Unless, I mean, if, if you just have a beast of a gaming computer, you won't notice anything. But just be aware that that's what's happening. Um, don't be that person on a server. That's your public service announcement from your local paladin. Uh like I said, I wanted to keep this one short and sweet. These are really necessary things to know for moving your items, but they are very basic. So if you learn something, that's great. Maybe you're a new player. Maybe you're a great builder, but you want to get into redstone engineering. I'm glad to have either one of you. I'm glad to know that more people are playing Minecraft, and I'm glad to help. Uh, you can even comment questions, something you'd like to see, and I will do my best to help you or learn something or understand something. Um, and with that, take care on your next adventures. I'm off to defend light in this realm. And this is White Sun Paladin. On to the next. Have a good one.